What is up guys and welcome to my little vlog here at LA Comic Con. Uh, this was really fun. This was my first ever Comic Con. I never went to something like this before. I recorded all of this for TikTok. That's why it's like set up like a TikTok video, not a YouTube video. I do apologize. But here's me walking in and seeing all the cool people in their cool costumes. Um, it was really busy. Like I had to squirm my way through people. It was pretty annoying. Uh, it got overwhelming at some points. I'd say in the middle of it, I was getting really bad anxiety. But uh, you know, it got it got less busy and it was fine. Here's Here's a cool little R2-D2, I'm sorry, I mean Wally, not R2-D2, there was another R2-D2, you might actually be able to see it in this video. Uh, for some reason the guy controlling this was like trying to run my feet over, it was really weird, like look and then I turn and I move, but then he like moves towards me and I'm like oh okay, and all these people are looking at me and I'm getting nervous and I'm like this is why I don't leave my room. The cutie patootie did end up passing by though and strolling along, I feel like you could see R2-D2 at the end of this clip, hold on, oh there he is, there he is, I told you, I told you, anyways, yeah he was there, um, and then there were some people live streaming like from on their twitch straight over here and somebody was even streaming dead by daylight can you believe it can you believe it that's my game that's my game i play that shit too i don't know it just feels so weird i've been playing this game for so long and i used to tell people i play dead by daylight they'd be like what is that i don't know what that is and now it's being streamed and people passing by probably know what it is somebody was even cosplaying as the huntress they had the mask they had the hatchet they had everything it was really cool they just weren't a six eight Russian woman, but you know, whatever. And to this other room, it was really spacious and less busy. I enjoyed it a lot more in here. They had these big statues. Here's some of the little stands that they had. Um, I wish I got more footage of this because it was really cool. They had like a lot of original art and just like a lot of rare collectibles, uh, but there would be a lot of people in these areas. So it was kind of hard to get footage of everything. It was a little hectic. They had this army recruiter stand. Me and my brother were like, should we just join real quick and then like back out the lobby last second? Uh, this dude brought a snake to the convention. F 50 pound snake. I, I don't know what his deal was, but he's just dropping it on the children like you're going to see in a second. It's funny because I was walking around the whole convention and everywhere I went he was there I don't know how he was able to move around faster than me carrying a 50 pound reptile but uh, he was able to do it so kudos to him and kudos to this kid look at him kind of holding it like a champ uh, later we found this cool little outside area which I wish we saw earlier because it was so cool to chill at it wasn't busy uh, they had some food trucks it was actually really chill I also got uh, my little brother some stuff that cool Patrick Bateman Funko Pop my dad likes Iron Maiden so I got on these little figurines. I found a pillowcase with uh, my picture on it. I don't know how they got that. I don't know where they got that picture of me. Uh, but here are all the cool costumes from the Comic-Con. These were known as like the best of the best. This was like its own master class category or some shit. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I actually didn't know who a lot of these characters were, but they looked really cool. And a lot of them had like really special gimmicks and stuff. Here was Master Chief. His armor looked like heavy. I wondered how these people even walk around in this all day. They got to get hot and uncomfortable right uh, but getting hot and uncomfortable doesn't sound like the worst thing at times okay head in the game head in the game look at the costumes now cool cool master chief here's a little jump scare from my brother and I why do we look at the camera like somebody's coming up to us and recording us without our permission like it's me holding it but like look at us like we're both uncomfortable <laughs> what the fuck's going on here uh, this lady looked crazy imagine sitting on top of that crown <laughs> okay can't be a pleasant feeling or maybe too pleasant of a feeling um i don't know what she's from maybe like a board game but she looked really cool to be honest uh, i think this was from like hunter not hunter hunter that's an anime this was from like a video game monster hunter monster hunter it was from a monster hunter video game that's what they said i remember uh pretty cool i mean really got into it oh even got the poses down god damn look at that shit uh this was cool because he threw a little ant-man action figure and then boom it like they pretended that uh well i'm saying pretended but maybe it's real because they got the wings to work so maybe they got a real shrink ray and shit i don't know who this is but they look like their name is gusto look gusto uh batman completely embarrassed superman in front of everybody kind of embarrassing for them and then these dorks got up together okay now they look great they look awesome uh this samurai guy not exactly oh it was like a spawn samurai spawn from marvel if you guys know what that is uh, it's a marvel movie uh and then here was a cowboy uh and a devil person pilot with angel wings i'm not exactly sure what they were from uh, overwatch they kind of look like overwatch characters so let's let's go with overwatch characters <laughs> Uh, this lady's about to perform some magic in front of our eyes and make this book levitate. Get ready. 
yeah, we do that here at Los Angeles Comic Con, I guess. I mean, I don't know. This is my first time here. <laughs> it's only my other day out here, okay? And then we got this cool, like, Gundam cosplay, uh, and she looked uh, very good. Uh, listen, Shorty, uh, my credit score is over 800. <laughs> listen, and I like Gundam, so. I didn't get a good shot of this, but it was like a zombie Vaporeon, zombie Mimikyu cosplay. It was so cool, so unique. It was probably my favorite costume there, to be honest. And you know, no Wojako video can be complete without a horror playthrough uh but no for real it was cool i got to actually play the scary game uh that hasn't even come out yet it comes out this tuesday uh the game devs were all there and i was able to try out a few scary games it was really cool that was pretty much my whole day here's me leaving the comic-con building uh my feet were killing me i was there for about 10 hours but i did record like a little outro i think so i'm gonna just let that play <laughs> so what'd you think pretty cool. You know that feeling of walking for 10 hours and then you finally rest for the first time? That shit feels so good. Anyways, I want to show you guys what I bought myself and I got myself this bookmark. Uh, why did I get myself a bookmark? I don't read. I don't know. It's shiny Umbreon. So why the fuck would I not do it? It's so cool. But when I do read, I'm fucking prepared, bro. I'm prepared. But when that day comes, so will I. Uh, just kidding. Thanks for watching. Alright, bye everybody.